Ani, good afternoon. Mary Jo Wabano, Health Services Director for Nandawa Jigagamek Kumakong uh, Health Center. I welcome you once again. We are in um, our third segment of a, looking at providing resources and updates to community members regarding COVID-19. The first week we gave you an update about the testing and what that might look like when you are being referred for the uh, COVID-19 um, test. Last week we went through some mental wellness tips and how to, you know, keep that balance in your life. This week we are going to be um, presenting more information to our aging population and we're going to be asking Yvette Corbier, our long-term care home and community care nurse manager, to give you some more information on ways you can stay connected to our services. So I welcome Yvette today. Hi everyone, my name is Yvette Corbier. I'm the program manager for the Home and Community Care Long-Term Care Department. I'm here today just to give you an update on the COVID-19 uh, weekly focus. So uh, just so you know that uh, home care, we're still doing business, just in a different way. Uh, and I'll just let you know how uh, we've made some of the changes. Uh, first of all, I usually have my mask on, but for this interview, I took it off. Uh, if you come into our office, you will notice all the staff uh, will be wearing masks. Um, so we'll start with uh, staff in general. Our staff, uh, half are working from home and have be, been reassigned other duties and half are uh, working in our building. So the services that we provide are uh, right now our nursing, so right now we are seeing clients that absolutely have to be seen. For example, if you have a complex wound or you need IV therapy or you need palliative care services, uh, we are still seeing you. Um, the other um, regular clients, we have uh, given people blood pressure cuffs and thermometers and the nurses are calling them at home just to check and make sure everything's okay. Uh, so they're still being monitored, but not in person and not as often. Um, so if you do happen to come to our building for services, uh, you will be screened at the door, you will be masked, and um, we'll get you to put some booties on. Your the appointments are spread apart, so there's no two people in our waiting room. Actually, most clients that come in go directly to the treatment room. And after you leave, you dispose of your mask and your booties, and um, the doors are washed down, the examination rooms are washed down uh, in between clients. So that's one change. So, so we're still accepting referrals from the hospital and the doctors. Uh, we just gotta figure out uh, how to do it safe. We still have PSW services. We're primarily focused on personal care and some homemaking, uh, very limited. Um, the less people in your house, the better. So we've uh, tried to, um, we've really cut down on our services uh, and limited it to mostly personal care for uh, people who don't have the support in the community. We are still doing referrals to occupational therapy and physiotherapy and they will call you um, at home uh, and we'll try and figure things out because sometimes you may need equipment. We do have equipment, we can deliver it to you, uh, but it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky. So we're going case by case. We are still delivering Meals on Wheels. Right now, in the past, our Meals on Wheels would be, liver, be delivered Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, uh, every week. Um, but to decrease the amount of interaction, we've decided to go with one hot meal and five frozen meals. So this will all be delivered once every two weeks, just to decrease that um, contact. Um, so that's how we are going to do it um, until it's safe to 
um, go to people's homes again. Generic transportation we have put on hold um, just because our vehicle is not equipped to be cleaned in between clients. Because of the upholstery and everything, um, we would need to have uh, probably like a plastic seating and a plexiglass and we're not equipped for that right now. So um, our driver actually is um, helping out with uh, packaging the care packages and with delivery as well as some of our PSWs. So they've been re reassigned to other duties. Um, helpline, if you need a helpline, that's the emergency system where if you, ha you fall and you can't get up and you press a button um, and you have three contacts and then the ambulance is called if um, no one answers, that is still available. If you need that service, you could just give our office a call and we'll make arrangements for that to happen. It's business as usual, but just in a different way. Uh, we're trying to have less contact, physical contact with everyone just to reduce the risk. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call the office. There's somebody or always there to answer the phone. Uh, the number is 705-859-3098. Um, and that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Yvette. That was uh, great uh, information that was shared to our community members. Please take the time to reach out to any of the services we have offered, not only within Nandawajagekmik, but within the community at large. We do continue to provide that awareness through our Facebook page, through our uh, website. Again, looking at ways to keep your family safe, keep your family healthy, and to continue um, looking at ways to stay home and, and provide that safe uh, location for you and your family. So we just want to remind everybody that we continue to do what we can to support you. And we, we do take any of your suggestions that are offered and we, you do provide that feedback to, our, to the group that does that screener call with you. You do get that call every day or every other day or twice a week, whatever the uh, frequency is. But we do take those uh, suggestions to heart and we find a way to come to some solutions because we are here to support one another. We're all in this, in this together. Nahami and enjoy your day. Bama.